How's it going guys? This is Scott from Code 4 Performance. I wanted to make a short video on a tubeless field repair should you suffer an inner liner failure uh, out on the trail. Uh, this tire and wheel setup is off my riding partner's bike who we both just completed the Idaho Grit 3 Challenge ride a couple weeks ago. Five days, just over 600 miles, and man we had a great time. Anyway, uh, we both ran tubeless front and rear. I run tubeless all the time on my bikes, have great luck with it. Um, I understand the system, I know how to properly install it um, and maintain it. By maintaining it, I mean uh, staying up on inspecting the red liner every time, or the, yeah, the red liner every time we break down a tire, inspecting the inner bladder, which I'll show you in just a second, and just staying on top of your maintenance on it. This tire that you see right here does look like it's uh, got a tubeless still in it. The only thing that remains is the tubeless rim lock and that's that's the repair hack I'm gonna show you here in just a second once I break this tire down. Take that off the stand here real quick. So the inner bladder is simply this right here. This is an extra one that I have. And this is the, this goes inside of the red liner and it inflates to 100, 110 PSI, forces the red liner against the tire's bead, the bead against the wheel, that's what seals your low pressure chamber. So anyway, what happened was, day three, halfway through the day, maybe 10 miles up a trail, uh, he ran over a nail, believe it or not, a 16 penny framing nail, went through the tire, uh, through the red liner, and punctured the inner bladder. Now, could have we uh, tried to dispatch the inner bladder? Possibly. The issue with that is, if it didn't hold, we would have had to break it all down, start over, and just uh, waste more time trying to make the repair. So, we both carry spare 21 inch tubes with us uh, in the event of this very situation happening because you can run a 21 inch tube in the rear tire to get you by, which we did. And he actually rode uh, the last two and a half days uh, using a 21 inch tube in his rear tire. Absolutely no problems. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down this setup here and I will show you how we did the rim lock. That's really what the repair needs to be. So carry a 21 inch tube with you if you're going to go on a multi-day ride or uh, uh, long rides, whatever. Just 21 inch tube, fold it up, a lightweight one like the original ones that come with your bikes that are very thin. They work great stuff in the bottom of your pack and you'll be good to go. So let me break this down and I will show you what we did with the rim lock. All right guys, I got that tire dismounted and as you can see, there's our rim lock that we fashioned. And I had thought about this before we even went on the ride, like what if we did have a failure? <clears throat> How can we work around that? I don't want to carry a stock rim lock with me. And besides that fact, the rim lock thread size is I think 10 millimeter where the KTM one is six or eight millimeters, so you have to enlarge the hole to seven sixteenths when you install the tubeless. So we retained the tape, didn't take any of that off to cover the spoke nipples. But here's the rim lock. As you can see, we've cut it out of the inner liner up here. And the inner liner has got some very heavily stainless steel cores on each side of it. That's part of its structural integrity. And so you can't cut through that unless you have some nasty, gnarly side cuts with you on the trail. So uh, a sharp Leatherman, we were able to cut basically right here, right here, and then right around there, as you can see, to avoid those cords. That becomes our new rim block. Worked great. Goes back in the same hole, uses the same nut from the tubeless system. Leave your valve core in it. You won't get any dirt and debris down in there. It worked great. Down inside the tire, you can see there's the 21 inch tube. And it, like I said, we rode two and a half more days, probably almost 200 more miles on that. Didn't have any issues at all. Tire didn't spin on the, on the wheel and we got out. So do you need to carry some stuff with you? Yes. A couple of tire spoons to dismount your tire and a 21 inch tube and obviously a knife to be able to uh, cut the rim lock out. We just uh, wadded up the red liner and the damaged inner bladder in our pack, threw it away at the, uh, the next town we came to. So there's your tubeless hack. 
Um, don't be afraid to try tubeless. I think it's great. I love being able to run lower pressures. Although on this ride, because of the gear, we had pannier bags on our bike and pretty heavy packs. So I didn't run low, as low of pressures as I normally do on trail rides. Um, I think I ran 10 PSI in the back and 13 in the front all the time. And <clears throat> I didn't have any problems. So don't be afraid to try tubeless. And I hope this helps somebody out to be able to uh, have a little more confidence riding with tubeless. And don't shy away from it. So anyway, hope this helps. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.